Hi there. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to change the text uh, under the ribbon groups associated to a ribbon tab. Uh, in this particular uh, Northwind uh, example that we have here, um, we are uh, using a standard default um, navigation control for the uh, rib employee's ribbon tab. And so if we run this application, we see that uh, the word the word functions is under the area that launches screens and when I launch the screen we have data customized functions and screen actions as the ribbon group titles so the question is how do we change these um, and make it uh, a change that's across the board so there's a couple of ways that you can do that you can make the change within the provider project um, or you can make the change by making a copy of a particular um, uh, of the default uh, navigation control or ribbon tab and modifying it to suit. So here's an example where we've taken, we've, we've made a customized uh, ribbon tab where we've actually added uh, two more regions uh, to the actual ribbon tab itself. So we'll uh, exit out of here and uh, go through the process of change. So what we were looking at here was the employee's ribbon uh, tab and if you notice here that it's actually um, using the default navigation control and the default navigation control is located in your uh, in this case the light switch provider for Telerac. So let's open up that project and take a look at that. So um, the uh, within the Telerac project under the default uh, control solutions folder if you navigate down to the uh, doc shell navigation control and expand that here's the same regions that we were just looking at so um, to help understand these data regions and uh, let's see if I can minimize this a little bit I can go back to here and we'll just cancel that down and pull that back up so that we can see what we're talking about there we go alright so the red uh, so we are looking at the uh, uh, same information here but just surfaced in the model so the red region uh, refers to this uh, data region uh, the purple refers to the customized region the screen nav refers to this yellow or gold region that we see here and then the green region is the actions area so at runtime uh, the text that we see is actually the text that's in the header here so for instance if we wanted to change this uh, screen actions to let's say user actions we will just change this at the provider level and, uh, and for screens we'll say uh, launch screen uh, for example we'll just leave the other two as customizing data so uh, once you've made that change in your provider compile your provider and once your provider has been uh, compiled then you need to re-reference that in your um, project itself so if you happen to be uh, in the logical view of your light switch application uh, you need to change over to your file view go to your references locate your provider remove your provider from your project add uh, your new provider your newly compiled provider I should say uh, which is this one here hit OK and now that we've added that we simply uh, build and run and if we go to the employees screen oops, and launch that you can see already um, the text associated to the text associated to the launch screens is um, changed and of course now we see user actions as being changed as well so that's that's the one way that you can do it the other way which uh, as I demonstrated earlier or mentioned earlier there is a uh, already a customized region here so let's take a look at uh, uh, sorry customized ribbon tab so let's take a look at how that was defined uh, in the Northwood Wind project so if we look at at, at a model level uh, it is this particular uh, custom region and we, we can see here that the export name associated to that is a custom navigation control so if we open this up we can see that uh, the custom navigation control and from the metadata here we can see that its uh, location is in the LS test project which is the one that we're in 
So if we um, navigate down to our solution folder doc shell, and we've happened to organize it um, via solution folders. And if we look in here, we see uh, a navigation, doc shell navigation. If we look at this one, you can see that we've called this the custom navigation control. And these two names don't have to be the same. They just, uh, they can be, but they don't have to be. Um, this is the export name that, that the model is looking for. And all we did was we copied over that same uh, provider project uh, control that we were looking at earlier that we modified here to kind of globally um, bring that across to all of the ribbon tabs. We simply copied that over and dropped it into our uh, light switch application, uh, altered this export name to be something unique, in this case, custom navigation control. And then what we did was we went in and we added additional uh, regions, as you can see here. Um, so we've added, in this case, a region one and a region two. And uh, just so that you can see that, we'll say, uh, uh, we'll call this one uh, something more applicable. So this might be um, customer, oops, we're running. So we have to pause this for a sec. So we can change this to, uh, customers, customer information, as an example. And uh, and so when we run this now, you can now see that um, the region uh, has changed to say, sorry, the uh, ribbon group has a different title called customer information. <coughs> and if we do one more step here, just to demonstrate, what we'll do is we'll add another region and the easiest way to do that is to simply make a copy. So I'll copy that, and paste that down there. And we'll call that region three. All right, and make sure that everything is changed. So we've changed the title to region three, and that's good. So if we run this now, you can see now we have a region three. We actually don't have anything in it, but to get something in it, we simply go back to our model. And uh, so this is uh, the customer region is the only one that's actually using that. So we have to refresh the model to pull in that extra region. And there it is. So if you notice, it's uh, region three over here. And so what we'll do is uh, uh, let's think uh, a command into that uh, region. And let's do this. We can actually sync the same command we're syncing into region to, I believe. Just have to get that in there. <coughs> so that's uh, so what we should see then is uh, a um, <coughs> same command. And so you can see now we have the two uh, buttons uh, defined in the regions. Okay, so uh, um, and to finalize this. Uh, short instructional video. What we'll do is we'll just change this one from the employees tab from the default to that custom uh, region just to show you that there's the same uh, elements now if we hit start. Now if we go to the employees tab you'll notice that it has the same uh, regions as it does uh, in the pr this particular tab. <coughs> we happen to have uh, um, the buttons missing because we uh, actually turned them off but let's fix that real quick. Uh, so for example, if I go to the employees tab and which is this one here <coughs> and I look at this one here, it's not surfacing because it's set to true here and it needs to be set to true here. Okay, so if we go to employees tab, you now see the uh, employees command is showing up, navigation command itself. And we aren't populating any of these uh, three regions um, in that example for the uh, employee screen. So it's probably not a good example if you have some custom uh, commands that are supposed to go in here. Um, uh, much like this one has um, the actual commands that we've injected into that, this one doesn't. So, um, But the idea is that uh, you have the flexibility to um, either make the change uh, within the provider itself. So in the provider project, um, you you can alter the uh, B 
behavior, the number of regions, um, and the actual uh, text that's associated to those uh, ribbon groups. Um, or you can uh, do the same thing by making a copy or taking a copy of that particular uh, navigation control, which happens to be a ribbon uh, control, and simply changing the exports, uh, defining the class, um, name to be unique, and then uh, go to town. Inside the ribbon tab you can add additional regions as we demonstrated and um, label them accordingly. So that's how you uh, modify regions, uh, sorry, that's how you modify ribbon group uh, header text uh, associated to a region. Thank you very much and have a good day.